Previously on Sailing Rum Punch. Last episode was all about disconnecting our engine. Welcome to part two. Today is the day we are disconnecting the engine. If you're new to this channel, we are absolute first timers refitting our 1972 Contest 38 sailing boat. In the description below, there's a link to our episode zero to get to know us a little better. And why not subscribe so you never miss an episode? Now back to our engine. Deciding to save a bit of money and take this on ourselves, last time we, or really Ben, smashed through our long list leaving only a few things to disconnect. What's next on the list? Also got the engine stop cable, the puller, lever, engine off. So we're picking up where we left off, except this time I get my hands dirty too. I love tacos. Yeah. All of these cables are just in the way now. Um, we've left them there because we wanted to potentially trace them back to the distribution board. They've all been so coated in expanding foam, which I don't really know why. And we're completely renewing all of our electrical system. So I think the time has come to see if I can take them all out. Should we do this now? <laughs> okay. Okay, so the next item on the agenda is the cooling water intake. That's this pipe here going into the water pump. Uh, I have already disconnected the other end down here in the bowels of the gross pit. So this pipe is connected to this seacock here. We are going to be swapping that out. As you can see, it doesn't really do much. So this is the pipe that went to the reflex diesel stove. I'm gonna undo this one first here. I do have this bucket here, which is very useful. I didn't put this bucket here. There was obviously a fuel leak in the past and the solution was to just put a bucket down to collect the fuel. Very smart, so it doesn't go everywhere, but maybe there's other ways to go about that. But for now, it's there, and I keep it there. Let's see what happens. the main bulk of it and now I'm getting the last couple of bits and I've got to go under the into the bilge so it's going under the nav table and under the floorboards so now if you move your booty I'm gonna get off the floor <laughs> cables here all now go through the top 
down here and into this pilot berth. And so I need to take, take everything out. This is a constant battle. Oh look, what's happening over there? exhaust pipe is off. I've been working on it for about 45 minutes now and it just would not budge and now I just lubed it and hid it and cut it and it is finally off. It is like a nice bendy piece full of water so I've got to find somewhere just to dispose of this disgusting exhaust water but now I might drink it because I'm so happy. So this is the last connection to the boat for this engine, I think. So this is the prop shaft coming off. So satisfying. So satisfying, isn't it? There we go. Oh my goodness. So this is only connected by the engine mounts now, so hopefully we should just be able to lift her off. Lovely old job, two down. Right, so we are steaming ahead with this engine. We're now at the point where we're ready to lift. All the mounts came off really easily. Well, the, we managed to detach the engine from the mounts. The mounts are fully corroded to the boat, so we'll deal with that later. So what we've done now is I've gone to the mast and I've got the topping lift and I've brought that through the cockpit and attached it to the aft end of the engine. We've then lifted that up, so that's floating. Great. And now we're going to lift, manually lift the forward end off the mounts and then ease the engine forward so we can drop another line into the cockpit and then lift the engine onto its cradle. It's really heavy, not going to lie, but I think we're in a really good place and we're just going to give this a go. Yeah! Okay. Stop! Stopping! Okay, I can't lift it at all. Was it wedged? Okay, start winching. Winching. Let's give it a go. What do you want to do? Back, work the stand there? Yeah. What happens if I go from under there? What, like push it? Yeah. Three, two, one. Push it, push it. Push it. I can't. Okay. <laughs> if we winch it, the back will come up a bit more. Okay, yeah, let's try that. Maybe? Yeah. If I lift this end, yeah. we want to like tip that just down. Tip the stand down? Yeah. Okay, now don't even think I'm going to have to just drop it. So I think let's just drop it in. Let's find a nice place for it to sit. Ready? Yeah. Okay, it's the end of the day. My word, we have completed so much today. The engine is out. We've pulled it out, we've got it off the mount and it's sitting very precariously under the cockpit sole, but it is there and it's secure. I'll do some more with it tomorrow to make sure it can last until Tuesday. I've got a little bit of stuff on my face. I feel gross, I've got like completely black hands. But it's all been worth it. I ate like so bad. Do you? Yeah. I've taken out loads of cables today. The distribution board is like totally clear. 
Um, that's all gone now, so we're going to need some new cables. So it's um, a job that we didn't think we were going to get done today. It just kind of happened, didn't uh, it? And now yeah. I think we're in such a good place. It's incredible. So it's earlier. Like it, I feel like we've, we've done so much and progressed so far, but I can't see any difference yeah. just yet. But we're just chipping away at these... It's not like big jobs, but they don't really, you don't really see them, do they? Do you? But it puts us in a much better place for when we start rebuilding. Mm. That distribution board's ready to be completely taken out now, and then the new one put in. And it's it's a really good place to be. It's all about prep. Prep and dirty you faces. Ah, <coughs> crumbs. Crumbs, lady. Oh, How did that even happen? Sunburn. Why is it red as well? Is that sunburn? What is that? Oh, it's sunny. Um, the engine is finally being taken out today. I've just got to the marina and Ben is prepping for it. How are you getting on? Yeah, good. Nearly. Nearly ready. She's ready. Suspense is killing me. For all those wondering why we're going through all this effort to take our engine out, on our delivery we encountered several issues with it, including a leak. We had it serviced whilst in the boat, but due to the amount of corrosion, it needed a lot more TLC than we were able to give it. For now, we are looking into all our options, as well as prepping to give its home a huge makeover. Hey! <laughs> Surprisingly low drama. <laughs> Wasn't it? <laughs> That's actually quite easy oh. after that. Okay. So, Yay! Something we can do now, isn't it? Thank you very much for watching. If you like this episode, please subscribe and hit that like button. Bye! Boop, 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 boop. We have chicken wings tonight. That's all right.